Most of us are familiar with the atmospheric jet stream, the high altitude flow of air around the Earth that allows aeroplanes like these jet fighters to travel at great speed. Well, imagine something similar 3,000 kilometers beneath the Earth's crust, a flowing river of liquid iron that's surging westward under Alaska and Canada at the speed of 50 kilometers a year and rising. Scientists say the flow, almost as hot as the sun, is around 420 kilometers wide and wraps halfway around the planet. Its behavior is believed to be critical for the creation of the Earth's magnetic field. So how on Earth did scientists discover it? The journey to the centre of the Earth began three years ago, but not how you'd expect. The European Space Agency launched three super-sensitive swarm satellites up into orbit to study the Earth's magnetic field. Their measurements allow scientists to see fluctuations in the intensity of the magnetic field, pointing towards the movement of iron deep in the outer core. And it all has major implications for the future of life on Earth. Recent data from the satellites suggests that Earth's magnetic field has been weakening over the centuries. You can't see it, but that field is vital for protecting the globe from the sun's harmful rays. Scientists also believe that we're on the verge of something called a polarity reversal that will essentially turn the laws of physics on its head, eventually making the magnetic north pole into the south and vice versa. The changes are likely to be cataclysmic for life as we know it. But don't worry, polarity reversals only happen every few hundred thousand years. Neve Barker, Al Jazeera, London.